Miss Darbeggy. Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to Minecraft Monday. Um, we are basically just picking up where we left off with Minecraft here. We're just going on a little adventure to get coal. Uh, so that's what I am going to do while I chat your ear off. Um, so I got in the comments, someone asked me how I started to love Disney. Um, it's going to sound really corny, but I was basically just born into a huge Disney family. Um, I grew up on Disney. I, I, I'm pretty sure probably most kids grew up on Disney, let's be real though. Um, but my family is a very Disney-loving family, and, you know, my first trip to Disneyland, I think I was like four or five, somewhere in that age range. Um, and my parents, <laughs> it's a really kind of funny story, but, um, I, you know, I was too young. I didn't really, you know, when you're that young, you don't realize the passage of time, like, how quickly an hour passes and stuff like that. So to you, it's just like, oh, this is a long car ride. But, um, my parents told me that we were going to a giant Disney store and being like four or five years old, I obviously believed my parents. Um, I slept for the most of the ride there, so I didn't really realize what was going on, and then we like got up to the front gates and everything, and I was still believing we were at a giant Disney store, but again, when you're like four, this, this makes sense to you. This makes sense to your little child brain. It's like, oh, okay, giant Disney store, that's cool. Um, I don't remember which way I came from. This is, uh... I think I came from over there, didn't I? Or... Oh, this isn't good, is it? Well, there's the river. Oh, I found lava. That's cool. So if I ever need to get... Oh, there's the flower biome, so it must be somewhere over there. Okay. Um... Let's keep adventuring this way. Maybe I should, like, place just random... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Let's go. Oh well, piggies. I should probably kill some of them. I don't like killing them. But, um, I was still believing that we were a giant Disney store because, again, kid brain. And I was, my parents were like so stoked that they had like pulled this con out on me. And then there was this little boy that said, like, screamed that we, they were at Disneyland. And then I finally got it. So my parents our A still ticked at that little kid for ruining their surprise, and B still like to tell this story because I was an idiot. But uh, you know, I was like five, so that thing is totally normal, right? I'm pretty sure that's normal. Uh, why does it take so much longer to dig underwater? Come on now. Eh. So yeah, that was one of my earliest Disney stories. I don't remember, like, I remember parts of it, but I don't remember it fully. Like, I remember being in the car and I remember just like little blips of it but I don't remember asking I don't remember any <laughs> any of the actual technical stuff I really don't recall but um that's definitely not where it started considering my parents are both Disney nuts especially my mom uh, my grandparents my uncle my aunts my cousins we're a huge Disney family, especially mine in particular, like my me and my parents. Huge, 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 huge Disney fans, so. Uh, you know, I placed that dirt down and I don't remember where I placed it. So, that's awkward. I think I came from that way because I remember the roses. Do I really need this piece of coal? Probably not. Um, so it just kind of started from there. The first movie I remember ever watching was The Little Mermaid, which is probably why she's still my favorite to this day. Um, and she, <clears throat> what is my throat doing? She and I are the same age. She came out in 1989, just like I did. She's a few weeks older than me, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's older than me. I think she came out in like October. And, um,. Yeah, she's just always been my favorite. When I was a little girl, I had, obviously I had aerial Barbie dolls, and I used to twirl around under our chandelier, because we had a chandelier in the, the living room at that time, and I used to twirl around under it with my aerial doll 
I was like, I would like hold on to her and we would twirl together under the chandelier, under the pretty lights, and yeah, that was pretty much my entire essence in one little statement there. Uh, is Cole really this important for me to go and get? How much do I even have? I have like a stack and a half. Okay, let's just keep going. Bonk. Okay. Okay. This is really dangerous. Oh, hello, sheepies. <gasps> I can make a bed. I don't have any shears. Mm, do I have? I don't have any iron on me either. Dang it! I don't want to kill them. Let's see. Long drop, isn't it? Yeah, I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back. I'm a big girl. I can come back. Okay. Oh God. Please don't fall. I'm trying to get close enough so I can jump into the water. Okay. Oh, this is bad. This is bad news bears right in here. Friggin' hate extreme hills. Okay, let's just uh, mosey on along here. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, hello. I'm pretty sure I'm going a semi-correct way. I just need to cut through this forest. Oh, and there's some more sheepies. I need to head this way. You know, as long as I head along the river, I will find my house. Aw, more sheepies. Okay, I will get wool from you. And I really like having a lot of coal. But, um, anyways, I still love Disney to this very day. I am 27, and I still. <laughs> Whenever we, like, walk in the main doors, and you. They're obviously there. I don't know if anyone's ever been to Disneyland and. and oh, been to Disneyland in Anaheim in the comments or anything, but, um. That's my quote unquote home park, so it's always gonna be my favorite. I do wanna go to Walt Disney World at some point in my life, but it's. I don't know, I will always pick Disneyland over Disney World. Like, no matter what, I will always pick it. Um, but you can enter in through two sides once you get in through the entrance queue. And, like, above the little doorway, it has Enter the World of Today, Tomorrow, and Yesterday, and whatever it says. And that always, ugh, oh, it always makes me tear up like a total weirdo. Did I dig in here? I don't think I did, but I'm kind of- I want to go in there. I'm gonna go in here. Hmm. Oh no! No, no, no! I don't want to fall! 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 Oh god, I don't want to drown either! Okay. This isn't so bad. Okay. Okay. My panic dirt. Okay. How much? I don't have a lot of cobble, do I? Cobble. It's harder to. Really, I'm in this part for the friggin' iron. So I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Hello? I heard something. But I have it on peaceful, so that shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Just trying to get all the iron that I can. This iron is very important, and it's now it's down on the ground, but I will I will go down and get it. Get out of here, bat! You don't want my- I'm taking all this iron, you can't stop me. Get out, bat. Get out. Um. But yeah, I always tear up whenever I see those. Pretty much anything that has to do with Walt, I will instantly burst into tears. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, but uh, yeah, that's- that's just me. So I, um, um, 
like it was just the 60th anniversary of Disneyland when we went in December. Ah, oh, it was such. Pardon my corniness, but it was such a magical experience to be there for such a huge birthday for Disneyland and this place that I consider my second home. And I don't know, I really love it. There was a. Uh, about like a year ago, there was a time I actually didn't want to be there. I didn't want to go, and that was because uh, it was kind of me and the former best friend's place as well, and it it was really hard for me to be there without him because I was so used to having him there to go with. Like, we always would go together, and then that just wasn't a thing anymore. It, again, it's really hard to lose a part of yourself, but... um. You know, it, it is what it is, and I'm better off for it. So I just miss a piece of iron. I really want to go down here, but my pickaxe won't make it, so... I'm just gonna make my way back up. Somehow. I wonder if I can stay... No, I don't have enough of my pickaxe. Okay, we are going to... Oh. Go up this way. We're just going to try to go up the way we can. Okay. Oh no! Whew. Okay. You know what? Guess what? We're just gonna we're gonna bonk our way up. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's just uh <laughs> let's get back to our house. Oh, but yes, Disney's pretty much like, it's such a huge part of my life that I know if I ever end up with someone, I I can't be with someone who doesn't love Disney as much as I do because my, one of my like life goals is to freaking have an annual pass, okay? Like, it's such a silly and sad thing, but you know, life is about the simple things and yes, it's super incredibly expensive, but I love it. There's so much. I love the food. I love the atmosphere and just just walking through those doors. It just kind of transforms your entire day from being, you know, stuck in a four hour car ride getting to Anaheim. Because I, I live in Vegas, so Anaheim's only about four hours away for us. And, um, I don't know. It, it it doesn't make me feel like a kid again, if only because I didn't lose that part of myself. And I feel like a lot of adults do lose that part, that part of themselves where, oh, I'm an adult, I can't like these things anymore because, you know, I'm a grown woman. Who cares? Um, in the words of Walt Disney himself, adults are just kids grown up anyway, so have fun and don't forget how to live your life because one day it is going to be gone, and it is such a cliche saying, but life really is too short, and you really only do live once. You have to live it to its fullest and not be restrained by these things that say, oh, you're an adult, sorry, you can't like Disney anymore. Who says? Like, who makes these rules, and why are they suddenly the boss? I don't know, but they're not the boss of me, and they never will be. So if anyone thinks I'm childish for loving Disney that much, uh, you can go screw it yourselves, honestly, because Disney is pretty much a huge... Oh, I won't say it's like my entire life, but it's a very huge portion of my life. Like, my entire room is Disney. And, you know, we have Disney Christmas decorations all over our house around Christmas. And we have a D Disney kitchenware and Disney measuring cups to actually, you know, measure out ingredients for baking, and which I totally picked up, by the way, because I was, oh, I was so excited to see them. They're like little Mickey hands, and they're so cute. Um, and yeah, pretty much, I'm like looking at my room right now. I have a Disney calendar right in front of me. I have a Disney coat on my wall. My, like, my mouse pad is Ariel. Well, my other one was. I'm not the one I'm using right now. My pillows are Rapunzel and Ariel. And I have a whole bunch of like little Ariel figurines on my nightstand and in my bathroom. And like they were doing it every year, but they haven't in a while. Um, I think they did the Art of Bell collection this summer. Yeah, because I remember linking it to Chloe. And then like a few years ago, they did the Art of Ariel. And naturally, I went nuts and I bought a lot of stuff. Um... But they do these, like, designer collections every summer-ish, and 
The first one was the Designer Disney Princess Collection, and I got, like, how many mugs did I get? I'm, like, looking over my computer. I got three mugs, it looks like. I got Jasmine, Ariel, and T and Rapunzel, and Tiana, so I got four. Um, and then they had this Disney fairy tale collection, which included the princess, which was so cute. I was so excited to have the princess finally included in that. Uh, I just want to... For some reason, I thought this was sand. I, I was getting really confused. I was like, why do I have sand in here? Oh, you're just being dumb. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have my diamond pickaxe. Um, what I would like to do... I really want to tear up these floors at some point. That point's not going to be now. I want to get this furnace down. Um, and I actually would like to build another furnace. Which I kind of want to build two more. Okay. Let me just put them all down in a row. So we are going to skip that here. Put this here. And I think I have more. Yeah, I do. I do. Actually, you know what I want to do? Put that here. Put this here. And I'm also going to smelt my gold. Right there. Okay. Ah, oh, alright. Let me see how much time we have left here. Well, we have about five minutes, so we have enough time. Um, I think I kind of want to rip up this ground floor and put something prettier down. I just don't know what. Usually I do like this glass motif, but I really don't feel like doing that, so. Uh, game mode one. Just to make it easier on me, I'm going to pick a... Hmm, do I want to do cyan or do I want to stick with the theme and do pink? I wish there was like a lavender -y wool. That would be pretty. But I don't want to do purple. Maybe I'll just do white wool. Actually, you know, I think I want yellow. I like yellow. I'm just gonna bonk out this stuff and... Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm not like, concentrating on putting down yellow wool because obviously that takes a lot of concentration. Um, and we go to Disneyland once every t every other year, which I, I kind of hate. If I'm honest, I wish we could go more. Um, which technically we can't. My dad just won't. But um, I don't know. I really I want a guy that loves Disney so much that you can't imagine his life without it. Because I know I can't. And you know, I want to go more than once a year or once every other year. I want to go a lot because I love Disney so freaking much. And I don't know. Hopefully I can find a guy that likes it just as much as I do. And I really, I just really want my annual pass, man. I want it so bad. <laughs> that is my main goal in life is to get a freaking annual pass like a loser. But uh, I'm just going to grab a bed from here. I don't know where I want to put it. I can make the bedroom like right here. Yeah, that seems good. Seems good to me. And let's grab that. Bonk. I'm trying to like think of other things. Like, I, I love Disney so much, I just don't know what like to talk about about how much I love it because I feel like I'm just gonna keep yabbering on about nothing and everything all at once. Um, I need a door. I need a door. I don't remember which doors I used. Go down. Oh, I can feel like the friggin' heat radiating off my computer. This is not gonna be good. Go up. God, I hate ladders. I hate them. There we go. Bedroom. Woohoo. Maybe I could... It's a little weird, but I kind of like it. I'm kind of digging it. What's my cat doing? I don't know. She's being weird. Um, 
But, like, the Disney food, man. Oh, you have not lived until you've tried Disney food. It's, like, the best thing ever. I love it so much. I don't like this painting. What is she doing out there? Bella, stop it! I swear, she's trying to annoy me right now. She's doing a darn good job. Bella, stop! Bella, I swear. <laughs> I'm gonna skin you alive, kitty. Please behave yourself for like two more minutes. She's like digging the crap out of my door for some reason. I don't know why she seems to find that amusing, but apparently she does. Bella, stop it! Oh my god, I'm gonna strangle her in a second. Like, it's, it's gonna be a thing that's gonna happen. This is what I hate about window panes, is that it like sticks out. It's so weird. No, oh, that's not the one I want. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted either. Bella, you can jump over that. You don't need to play your little dumb act over there. Oh, that's my timer. Uh, but yeah, I, I really don't know what else to even talk about with Disney. I love it so freaking much that, like, I can't think of anything to talk about. But if you, ha if you have, like, any questions about Disney that you want me to answer... Oh, now it gives me the pretty ones. That's the one I wanted. Um, I will totally be happy to answer if you want to, like, my favorite movie. Obviously, Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. And... Let's see. Um, my favorite prince is Aladdin. I swear to God, I'm going to kill my cat. Um, my favorite princess Aladdin, my favorite princess is Ariel. Second favorite is Jasmine, followed by Rapunzel. First favorite prince is Aladdin, then probably Flynn Rider, and then Prince Eric. And favorite villain is Ursula, but I also like Dr. Facilier from The Princess and the Frog. I think he's really cool. Um, what else? I don't know what else. My cat is driving me crazy and I can't concentrate. I'm sorry if you can hear her in the background. But I'm going to end this part here and I will see you guys next time.